good and good good evening Good evening, everybody. This is the girl, Tiny Sandra, and I'm coming back at you all once again. I'm here to drop some more knowledge and some more information out here to you all. Uh, what I want to address today is um, it's called What About the Children? You know, we're seeing more young people get into these fights. We're seeing more of these schools closing. We see more of these teachers molesting these students, and it's just really gotten out of hand. You know, a lot of these parents is not taking responsibility for their children. Uh, we see more young people getting killed. We see more young people get into fights in these schools. We see more young people bringing, uh, bringing in guns. And um, I blame the parents because nowadays the parents have lacked. The parents are not teaching these kids anything anymore. The parents are not finding out who are their friends. These parents is not being strict on these young people like they should be. You know, well, it was a day and time that uh, young people, far as you know, between ages 13 and 17 years old, was supposed to be in the house. You know, nowadays you have these young people out here running the streets all the time at night. The parents don't seem to care. You know, and this have gotten out of hand. The schools are failing. The teachers are failing. And no one just like, you know, no one just don't seem to care anymore. Whatever happened to schools closing down, you know, for other various reasons. Now, I can see if they want to remodel or something to that nature, but it just seemed like they just closing the schools down and just say the hell with the young people education. You know, we never seen this amount of uh, school fightings and this school violence like we are doing now, like we are seeing now. What is wrong with these parents? Why these parents are not teaching and being role models to these parents, uh, to these kids out here? You know, I blame, uh, I blame the parents. The parents not teaching kids nothing anymore. All they care about is just trying to be their uh, their their friend. You know, students nowadays they going to school fighting, they going to school bringing in guns and knives. These teachers not too the teachers too busy worried about having sex with the student instead of helping the students. The uh, educational program have failed us, and no one seemed to care. You know, all they care about is that paycheck and just say the hell with the young people education. All the way down to the little babies. What happened to the children? Where are, why are these parents not teaching these kids? Why the school are failing our students like this? Why they not then, why they not being parents like they should be? Why they not being teachers like they should be? You see more students going to school fighting. Um, recently it was reported in Morgan Park High School in Chicago just the other day. It was a high school brawl. We seeing this more and more. You know, schools, uh, uh, teachers, you know, seeing uh, a lot of these students going to school starting fights. A lot of these schools not even worried about if these kids learning or not. And um, it's really sad. A lot of these kids not going to school to learn. They're going to school to fight. You know, who's sleeping with who boyfriend and who jealous of this one. I mean, high school has just uh, become abroad a now. You know, it's all about fighting. It's not about even learning anymore and educating the kids anymore. And I blame the parents because the parents should be responsible for these kids. They should be teaching them and raising them how to be young men and women. And it just seemed like the whole school system across the world is failing us. We're seeing more gun violence among schools. We're seeing teachers having sex with students. We Seeing more educational funding is being gone and being uh, garnished from the young people, especially in low-income areas. I mean, come on now. People need to wake up. You know, I mean, the Bible say train up a child and where he should go and um, their days should be long lasting on this earth. Well, to me, the parents not teaching the kids nothing anymore. There is no more respect. There is no more guidance. There's no more communication. There's no more love. And these teachers nowadays, they used to help their students, help their students read and, and, and tutor them. But nowadays it's not about that. What have happened to the children? What happened to the mothers and fathers standing up for their rights to educate these people and educate themselves to be better parents? You all, come on now. We need to do better than this. You know, um, it's just really sad to see so many young people like this just going to the wayside because they don't have any role models. They have no one teaching them anything. And I blame the parents and I blame the students, you know, as far as not taking their parts in it too. And I blame the teachers. You know, they too busy going to school trying to be seen instead of helping the students. They too busy trying to sleep with them. Wake up, people. What about the children? I just hope that one day that our, our community come together and educate our children to be better and to be better role models. Come on, we need more leaders. We need more people that's going to raise and stand up and be a, a speaker in our community. I just hope that one day that uh, people can wake up and learn to that uh and learn to see that education is never uh is never dead education is well alive we need more doctors and lawyers we need more role models that's going to help these young people to to relieve the tension what's going on and to find out what's the problem 
that's lurking because uh, it's peer pressure they're dealing with. They got to deal with stuff at home. They got to deal with parents not being around. They got to deal with other issues. No one seem to uh, want to address and seem to care about. Wake up, people. I just hope that one day that um, we can just learn to educate ourselves and come together as one. Words otherwise.